In this video you will learn how you can create this incredible text slice effect animation in PowerPoint. So let's go! Hello my dear friends, it's one skill helping you skyrocket your PowerPoint presentation skills. And now let's jump into this beautiful slide and as you can see this slide has a beautiful dark photo texture and this photo comes from freepick.com and what's awesome is that I have placed this photo in the slide master view. Let's jump into the slide master view and here is the slide layout that I'm using and here is that photo as you can see we can drag it around but let's uh, leave it the way it was and now once we come back into the normal view the photo is uh, no longer selectable which is super duper convenient because we won't accidentally select it okay so as you can see in my original slide I have three text boxes but let's keep it simple with a single text box so let's just insert a text box and let's type in anything that we wish for example text and now let's just place this text box in the center of the slide and here is the font and the font size that I'm using Okay, my friends, and next let me show you how we can slice this text. And to slice this text box, we'll be using a rectangle, okay? So let's just find the rectangle tool and let's insert a rectangle. And now let's add a bit of transparency to this rectangle. So let's jump into the format shape options. And for the fill, let's add some fill transparency, okay? And additionally, let's make sure that we rotate this rectangle a bit. So I'm using minus 10 degrees. And this uh, rotated edge is going to be the edge, the slice edge of this text. So feel free to position this uh, semi-transparent rectangle wherever you wish. And uh, this is looking good. And now let's just duplicate this slide because on one slide we'll be extracting the top part of the text. So hold down the shift key, select both the text and the rectangle. Now let's go to merge shapes and let's use subtract. Okay, so this is going to be the top part. And now on this slide, once again, select the text, hold down the shift key, select the rectangle. And this time let's choose intersect. And this way we get the bottom part. So now we can just cut this bottom shape and let's just paste it into this slide where we have the top shape. So now we can delete this empty slide. We don't need it anymore. And by the way, let's select the both of the text parts and let's add a white outline to both of these guys because after cutting this uh, text into two parts, you might see a slight edge uh, running through this uh, text box. So to avoid it, let's just add a slight white outline to both of these parts. And this way, this text will look as a single text box. But of course, we can select both of these parts individually. Okay, my friends, and next we can jump into the selection pane and we can give proper names to each of these uh, parts of this text box. All right, and next let's make sure that we select the top part of the text and let's drop down the transparency, the fill transparency of this top part. And this way we'll be able to see the angle of the slice. And we want to see this angle of slice because we'll be adding a little shape that will have to follow the same angle. And for that little shape, we can use this diamond shape. So let's make sure it's pretty small. So let's just insert a little diamond shape and we can make it really small. We can squish it down a bit and make it wider just like that. And now let me bring this little diamond shape closer to this letter T. And let's rotate this little diamond shape so that it matches the angle of the slice, just like that. And of course, we'll have to move this little shape outside of the slide, just like that. Let's keep it away from the slide. And I will add a motion path animation to this guy. So let's go to animations, add animation. Let's look for the line motion path animation. Here it is. So now let's just grab this red bubble and let's move it to the right side, just outside of the slide. And let's do our best to match the same angle of the text slice, okay? And you can as well select the diamond shape and use your up and down arrow keys to fine tune the position of this diamond shape so that it matches the correct slice angle. And now it's looking good. And next, my friends, let's jump into the animation pane and let's do a couple of adjustments to the motion path of this diamond shape. So first of all, let's change the duration. Let's keep it really short, half a second. That's good. Now let's jump into the motion path animation settings. Let's make sure that we have some smooth start and smooth end. That's looking good. And this is how it looks like. Looking beautiful. 
Okay, my friends, and now for this top part of the text, let's uh, bring back the white fill just like that. And now let's select this top part and we'll add a motion path animation to this top part as well. So let's make sure it is selected. And once again, let's add a motion path line animation to this guy as well. And this time, let's drag this red bubble somewhere a bit to the right side, just like that. And of course, we can always zoom in so that we can better see those motion path bubbles. So let's just place this red bubble somewhere over here. So we're keeping pretty much the same angle as this lace, but slightly upwards. And now let's make sure that the second motion path animation starts with previous animation duration half a second. Let's add a 0.25 second delay so that it starts with a slight delay. And this time let's go for maximum smooth end. Of course, you can experiment with all of these uh, animation options, but this is looking beautiful. And now we can select this top part and use the animation painter to paste the same animation to this bottom text part. And now all we have to do for this bottom motion path is to make it a bit shorter. So once again, let's just zoom in so that we can see those motion path bubbles. And for this bottom motion path, let's make it a bit shorter so that we have some visual difference, you know, from this top motion path. And for the bottom motion path animation, let's use a delay of 0.4 seconds. So this way the last animation will happen last. <laughs> That's pretty logical. Okay, my dear friends, and by following the same steps, you can create as many of those uh, text boxes as you wish. On this slide, I have three text boxes and I have three of those little diamond shapes. And as you can see, all of the animations in the animation pane have animation delays. It looks like a little waterfall. That's nice. So let's check it out once again on the full screen and congratulations. Now you know how you can create this beautiful text slice effect animation in PowerPoints. Kandoosh.